Hello, Jamaica. Hello. Hello. How are you guys this morning? Great. Can I touch the Lord? Yes. Guess what? He woke us up this morning. Do you know how many people went to sleep last night and they're not here with us? But our God is a what? Awesome, powerful God. And He begun the work in us and He's going to complete the work in us. Just look to the person. Hold the hand that's sitting next to you. You're feeling your brother, you're feeling your sister. This is called what? The body of Christ. We are one body and I greet you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are so happy that you're here and we give him the glory, we give him the honor, and we give him the praise. And I welcome you to Boss Jamaica or Vertical Leap California World. We thank God and we praise him. Jamaica, we are beyond excited, beyond filled with entheos to be here with you. We were here in February and had such a dynamic time and warmly embraced by our family. And we are back again because Jamaica, there's a wildfire in Jamaica for Vertical Leap. There's a wildfire for change. And that's what Vertical Leap is about. Vertical Leap is about change. Your current behavior times intolerable pain equals change. Or your current behavior times vision equals change. And you'll hear a lot more about vision and all of that, but one or two of those things have you here today. So we are again excited and blessed to be here with you, Jamaica. And we I asked the question, how many have been here before? I would like to get three people who've been here before. Just share a snippet of what you gained from the last Vertical Leap experience. Who will take a risk and come down and share? Don't all run up at one time, but remember, zero to five seconds, so I need you to act in the now. Three people, come on down who will share with us. Come on, my sister, thank you. Excellent. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I need one more. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who would like to go first? Or to share what we learned at the house. Yes. For me, focus attending was the thing that got me. Because I had a, a tendency to zoom in and out. And I began to catch myself when I was zooming out. And so focus attending, but it was overall a life-changing experience for me. I daily, daily I'm impacted now by Boss the Movement. Amen. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Wonderful. So our sister said she learned how to focus attend. And you'll learn more specifically about that term and understand greater what she's referring to. For me, it's the same thing in terms of focusing at the zero to five seconds. Um, I, boss... The last time was really a life-changing experience for me. Um, I feel that I've been, I have a vision, I see purpose, I see destiny, and I see the tools that I can use to get there. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah. Wonderful. So again, you're hearing focus and the empowerment of tools to help to birth the vision that was in her. Uh, for me, it was a whole paradigm shift. My mind just completely exploded and I began to see everything so much larger, so much greater, so much more powerful. And to know that I can really bring into reality the dreams and the visions that I have had all along. Yeah. So my sister is saying she at Vertical Leap learned how to convert the invisible, what's inside, to the visible on the outside. That conversion process. Now, Joel 2.28 shares with us and sets the stage for where we're going. So if I can get Marion to read Joel 2.28, and if you have your Bibles, feel free to turn with us. Joel 2.28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Now, there is a promise there that says, it shall come to pass. That I will do what, Marion? Pour out my spirit on all flesh. Who's speaking? God is speaking and he says he's going to do what just give you a drip of his spirit did he say he's just going to sprinkle his spirit no what did it say he's 
going to pour out his spirit. Now, for those of you who were here before, did you feel an outpouring of God's Spirit? Yes. Yes. Did you really feel an outpouring of God's Spirit? Yes. I, I can't feel that you felt an outpouring of God's Spirit. Hey, I'm just checking in. Mary, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Dreams, visions, and ideas are birth. Joel 2.28 is the foundational, one of the foundational scriptures that sets up this vertical leap experience. But we have to first be able to, as Deuteronomy 28, for those that were here before, does anyone remember what Deuteronomy 28 tells us? Yes. It's in the word of God, you hear it, see, do it not. All right, sis, give her some flying dollars. Based on the word of God, Deuteronomy 28 tells us that we must hear it, see it, and do it in the now. Remember, now has been defined as zero to five seconds of consciousness. When God would speak a dream, vision, or idea into your heart. But you have to hear it. Where do you think you have to hear it? In your spirit, on the inside. You have to see it. Where do you have to see it? On the inside. And then the conversion happens and you do it where? On the outside. So we have to hear it, see it, and do it now. Words are spoken that we would get an inward perception of that word. If I speak a word to you and you don't get a picture image of that word, you can't do that word. And so that's why we have to understand Deuteronomy 28 says you have to hear it. So you can see it on the inside so that you can then move and convert it on the outside. And that's what this journey is about. But I know that we have probably a few burning questions from the floor. And so did we have a question that was burning? Yes, 